Everything comes to he who waits. And I have waited so very long for this moment. Oh, what is up, guys? Daz, aka the Welsh Patriots, is in the car again. And in this video, guys, I just want to uh, say, Borda, good morning. And I just want to share some nice views with you guys of all the murky kind of Franklin Beach. Other than that, guys, I just want to, before I upload, my other video which is all about my little walk down to the other beach which is further down that way um this other beach yeah there's the main beach you've got a nice restaurant over that side there called St. Ellie I believe it's called or Eckley try and say that St. Eckley and yeah this is the beach that I come down regularly and metal detect on the main beach uh, parking is one pound ten for an hour, and then two hours is one seventy, and four hours is too much. Cause the council are rob robbing bastards. But no, I just want to uh, just bring this to your attention. Apparently, despite what the rumours are, say, uh, what the rumours may be about the Stratty Park Hotel. Oh, uh, not opening. I do believe it's going to open very soon in the next, say, two, three months. And if it does, I want everybody to boycott it and not use it. A lot of, a lot of like the the local or some of the locals or probably a lot of the locals uh, are saying, "Oh yeah, d use yeah. it." And yeah, I just want everyone to boycott the, boycott the Stray Park Hotel, not use it. And make the greedy owners sell up. Because let's face it, they don't deserve our money. They don't deserve us staying in a shitty hotel. And as nice as the hotel is, one, I've never been there. Two, I don't really give a fuck about the hotel. And whether it works as a business. It may be, I went protesting to, uh, to just stop the immigrants going there. I was protesting because the owners don't deserve it. And they should... And the hotel, I want the greedy owners to sell up. That's how, that's what I, and obviously I was protecting my children's future. Not, I don't give a toss about uh, whether the rooms fell up or not. Especially not after what they've done to the people of St. So in my eyes, they don't deserve any people in the hotel. Why should we allow it to go back to normal? I mean... At the end of the day, they've done what they've done. They fucked over the community. They screwed us all. I I, I was going to go around knocking doors on the air to say, have you been down the hotel to, to protest most most of these uh, locals? Because I guarantee they, most of them haven't been there guys, to protest. It was always the ones from outside the area. So, yeah, and after the way we were treated by the police, the councillors or council... Um, even some of the locals in the furnace area uh, shocked me big time with the way they treated the, the protesters. Um, which in a way, which which kind of, in, I suppose, helped to inspire me to walk away in the end because there was so much infighting and all that bullshit which I couldn't put up with. Now and then, I I pop into my uh, local shop, Little's, for a bit of shopping, and there's. One of the protesters from Furnace, do you think she'd uh, say hello or be polite and say nice things or even just to say hello? Not a peep. If anything, she looks to the floor or she's kind of like embarrassed or she's kind of like, in a, in, in a way, very rude, which I find disgusting and makes me think, why the fuck did I do her? But I'm not doing it for, I, I wasn't doing it for her. 
just to let her know. I was doing it for my children and because the owner, owners don't deserve such a great building. And uh, I just hope everyone boycotts it. I honestly do, guys. I, I mean, some of you may disagree, but that's the beauty of opinions. Um, and 99% to 100% uh, of people would agree, I believe. Especially the ones that took part in the protest. So, if you are thinking of going to the hotel, guys, save your money and go somewhere else. There's plenty of other better, better hotels. And I can, uh, re I can put some, or I can big up some other hotels in the area. Um, but certainly not Stray Park Hotel. The owners... And not even from the area. They don't. Even, they don't. They should just sell up. Seriously, sell up and give it to someone else. Do the right thing. After, uh, after especially after the way uh, they treated the public and treated, thinking that yeah, they don't give a fuck about the community. They're just gonna just think about the money. And that's how I how, how I see it. I see us. They don't deserve it. They lost. The, they lost the court case. They even try to take like the local homeowners to court, and then they won that little injunction thing. So they were still fighting all the way, and still willing to spend money. And then they lost the case in the end. Then so they won all the battles, but then we won the war. <laughs> Twats. Anyway, boycott the hotel, guys. Do a do do a do the right thing. I don't think it's. The, Bad in and in boycotting it. Um, they lied. They've lied, and the, he, these are the main three reasons why I think you should boycott it. One, they've lied to the public. Two, they try to screw the public. And three, they try to basically well, yeah, they sold up, sold us out in order to try and make a profit. And uh, for those reasons, and even. I'd even go to say four reasons. They they try to they put very greedy um, mitts first before our children's future. So that alone, that last reason for me, I couldn't give a fuck if if it blew up. Seriously, if it literally like. Spontaneously combusted. Do you honestly think I'd cry? No. Because you know why? Because there's other bunch of hotels way better than the Strider Park Hotel that would, that would be more than happy to take your money off you. And I've been up to the hotel. I haven't been in the hotel. And I've seen the grounds before the protest. Back when you were allowed to. Before this civil trespass bullshit came into play. And it's nothing special. You know? It brought in a bit of money for the for the public. Well not even for the public, for the for the people. For the community, uh, like for the government and for the council and what's it done for the public, seriously? You know? At the end of it, people had their weddings and stuff there and all well and good, they got the memories for that, but What's done is done. And do they do, do they do they uh, deserve it? Griffin Lasher? Do they fuck? At the end of it, even the security people they brought in, every single one of them, all former military apparently, <laughs> traitors, all should be fired and jailed. Thank God I'm not in power. Put it that way. Or there'd be a lot of change on that front and on the country front. Anyway, Randor, that's what I think you should do. Boycott it, give them nothing. Let the business collapse. And, uh, yeah, let somebody else take over. I don't care who it is, just not them. Other than that, guys, peace out. Check out my next video and uh, subscribe, like, whatever. Buy something from the shop, whatever. And I'll uh, see you soon. Peace out.